Model, MEM, 2011. Portable Mammogram Breast Cancer Diagnostic Device. Atlas, for Multi-Frequency Electrical, Impedance, Mammography. Distributed by, Innovation, Medical Devices. Dedicated to discovery, committed, to care. Tomography, Greek T. Section, Cut, is a method of non-destructive layer-by-layer examination of the internal structure of an object through its numerous transillumination in different cross-sectional directions. Methods of Tomographic Examination X-ray Computed Tomography Magnetic Resonance Computed Tomography Radioisotopic Tomography Ultrasound Tomography Positron Electronic Tomography Methods of Impedance Examination Rheography Body Composition Analysis Bioimpedance Spectrometry Electrical Impedance Tomography Method of Electrical Impedance Mammography Method of Electrical Impedance Mammography The 256 Electrode Electrical Impedance Mammograph, E. EIM, was developed by the Institute of Radio Engineering and Electronics of the Russian Academy of Science for realization of the method of electrical impedance mammography. Russian Technical Condition 294-42-002-711880036-2008 Conformance Certificate Ross RU.IM04V06814 Registration Certificate FSR 2008-02744 AMEM Electrical Impedance Mammograph is a specialized system for electrical impedance computer tomography. It is intended for the diagnosis of pathological changes in mammary glands tissues and other near-surface regions of the human body, by measuring the relative change in electrical conductivity of biological tissues in cross-sections, of the organ under examination at different frequencies, and by visualization of distribution of electrical conductivity on a PC screen. Electrode Matrix Use for Measurements In order to implement the method of electrical impedance mammography, we have developed a measuring system, and an algorithm for reconstructing images that use a set of electrodes arranged in the form of a two-dimensional matrix on a flat surface, to visualize static distributions of electrical conductivity, of the media adjacent to the surface with electrodes. Method of Electrical Impedance Mammography During the examination the matrix is retained against to the mammary gland towards the ribs, so that maximal quantity of electrodes is in contact with the patient's body, and the thickness of examined tissues is minimal. To pick up electrodes the first one is used as general electrode of current source, and the second serves as reference electrode of potential difference indicator, are joined between each other and are situated on the patient's wrist. Remote Electrode Electrodes of matrix. Equipotential surfaces. Lines of electric current. When the current flows through a medium, it creates volume distribution of the electric potential. The potential decreases along to the current line in proportion to moving away from the electrode. Injecting the current. Loss of voltage per unit of length is proportional to the current magnitude I, and to the resistance of a medium R, according to Ohm's law. Measuring the loss of a voltage V. And knowing the current, it is possible to calculate the resistance value. The voltage measuring instrument is connected to the first electrode of a matrix by a multiplexer and then the current source is connected serially to each of the remained electrodes of the matrix and measurement is carried out. After that the cycle is repeated for another registering electrode. The complete set of the data, used for reconstructing of three-dimensional distributions of electric conductivity consists of 65,280 measurement results. The data handing and initiating of the measurement process is carried out by the personal computer, connected to the instrument by universal serial bus, USB. Power supply is also carried out through a standard USB port. 
for reconstructing of three-dimensional distribution of electroconductivity of a medium, there is used the method of weighted back projection alongside with equipotential surfaces of electric field. Reconstructing of electrical conductivity is carried out in several tomographic planes, cuts, parallel to the electrode matrix. It is necessary to mean, that though this system provides static visualization, i.e. visualization of spatial distribution of absolute electric conductivity of the tissue, it does not allow to determine absolute values themselves. There is reconstruction of electrical conductivity deviations from the mean level for the given patient, and not its absolute values. Therefore from now on values of electrical conductivity defined by the system are expressed in relative, or standard, units. Mammary gland, structure, ultrasonic scanning. Nipple. Peripapillary muscle. Lacteal sinus zone. Anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia. Subcutaneous adipose tissue. Cooper's ligaments. Durat crest. Glandular tissue. Lacteal ducts. Posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia. Retromammary adipose bursa. Electrical impedance tomograms at different planes of scanning. 50 kHz. Electroconductivity of biological tissues. Biological tissue consists of cells and intercellular space, filled with substance electrolyte. Internal content of a cell is separated from intercellular space by a membrane, which equivalent electrical scheme represents itself parallel connection of the resistance and the capacity. Thus, electroconductivity of biological tissues depends on the frequency of passing current and the form of its oscillations. Some biological tissues are able to answer on passing current by excitation, in this case their electroconductivity nonlinearly depends on the current amplitude. If there will be no excitation then currents are disturbed into tissues in accordance with the impedance of its components. Cellular membranes represent relatively big resistance for the low frequency currents. That's why their basic part passes through intercellular gaps. The amplitude of the low frequency currents is proportional to the volume of intercellular space, for example, to the lumen of blood vessels, and the concentration of electrolytes in it. Measurement of electroconductivity of biological tissues on such low frequencies are used in biology and medicine for definition of blood filling of different organs, revealing of edema of organs, in which swelled cells decrease intercellular space. Electroconductivity of biological tissues, measured on high frequencies, is proportional to the general quantity of electrolytes, maintaining in the tissue between the electrodes, so in this case cellular membranes, haven't already hindered to distribution of electrical current. Electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. Mammary gland structure. Anatomically the mammary gland represents the complex alveolar tubular organ, consisting of glandula, adipose and connective tissues with internally developed system of lacteal ducts. 1. Skin. 2. Subcutaneous adipose tissue. 3. Superficial fascia, anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia. 4. Lacteal ducts. 5. Glandular tissue fibroglandular complex 6 cooper's ligaments 7 pectoral muscles 8 ribs 9 nipple 10 durat crest 11 retromammary adipose bursa 12 peripapillary muscle 13 lacteal sinus 14 posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia electrical impedance image Hypoimpedance Areas Isoimpedance Areas Hyperimpedance 
areas. Electrical impedance image. Hyperimpedance areas are black and dark gray in gradation of the gray scale and they are dark blue at the color scanning. They correspond to the fatty and the connective tissue. Isoimpedance areas are gray in gradations of the gray scale, and they are from blue till light yellow at the color scanning they correspond to the glandular tissue. Hypoimpedance areas are white and light gray in gradations of the gray scale and they are yellow-orange and red at the color scanning. They correspond to the fluid formations. Electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The first scanning level, depth 0.4 cm. Subcutaneous adipose tissue, 1. Superficial fascia, anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia. 2. Glandular tissue, fibroglandular complex, 3. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 4. Lacteal sinus, 5. Electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The first scanning level, depth 0.4 cm. Subcutaneous adipose tissue, 1. Superficial fascia. Anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia, 2. Glandular tissue, fibroglandular complex, 3. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 4. Lacteal sinus, 5. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The second scanning level, depth 1.1 cm. Subcutaneous adipose tissue, 1. Superficial fascia, anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia, 2. Glandular tissue, fibroglandular complex, 3. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 4. Lacteal sinus, 5. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The second scanning level, Depth 1.1 cm. Subcutaneous adipose tissue, 1. Superficial fascia, anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia, 2. Glandular tissue, fibroglandular complex, 3. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 4. Lacteal sinus, 5. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The third scanning level, depth 1.8 cm. Interlobular adipose tissue, 1. Glandular tissue, fibroglandular complex, 2. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 3. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The third scanning level, depth 1.8 cm. Interlobular adipose tissue, 1. Glandular tissue, fibroglandular complex, 2. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 3. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The fourth scanning level, depth 2.5 cm. Interlobular adipose tissue, 1. Single inclusions of glandular tissue, 2. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 3. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The fourth scanning level, depth 2.5 cm. Interlobular adipose tissue, 1. Single inclusions of glandular tissue, 2. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 3. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The fifth scanning level, depth 3.2 cm. Interlobular adipose tissue, 1. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 2. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The fifth scanning level, depth 3.2 cm. Interlobular adipose tissue, 1. Cooper's ligaments, connective tissue structure, 2. 
50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The sixth scanning level, depth 3.9 cm. Retromammary adipose bursa, 1. Posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia, 2. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The sixth scanning level, depth 3.9 cm. Retromammary adipose bursa, 1. Posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia, 2. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The seventh scanning level, depth 4.6 cm. Retromammary adipose bursa, 1. Posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia, 2. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. The seventh scanning level, depth 4.6 cm. Retromammary adipose bursa, 1. Posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia, 2. 50 kHz, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland, 50 kHz. Anterior folium of the pectoral fascia is visualized on the first, the second and rare on the third level, of scanning on the periphery of the lacteal sinus zone, or on the superficial layer of adipose cellular tissue, as linear hyperimpedance structure with electroconductivity of 0,3-05 conventional units, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland 50 kHz. Posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia is visualized on the 5th, 6th and 7th levels of scanning, on the periphery of the level of the retromammary fatty tissue, as hyperimpedance structure with electroconductivity of 0,3-04 conventional units. The visualization of the pectoral fascia foliums does not depend on age or menstrual cycle, MC, phases. Electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland 50 kHz. Cooper's ligaments are represented as hyperimpedance areas, radially dispersing from the center, with electroconductivity of 0.3 to 0.5 conventional units. They are expressed from the first till the fifth levels of scanning. Visualization of the ligaments doesn't depend on phases of menstrual cycle, MC but their sharper image on mammograms at women of the late reproductive and premenopausal periods is traced. Electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland 50 kHz. The fatty tissue has the high electric impedance and electroconductivity of 0.2 to 0.3 conventional units. Visualization of the fatty tissue on impedance mammograms depends on the age of patients. Subcutaneous fatty tissue is visualized at women of all age groups as hyperimpedance formation. Located on the first and the second levels of scanning. Interlobular fatty tissue expressed mainly at women of the reproductive and perimenopausal periods from the second till the fifth levels of scanning as rounded and oval hyperimpedance inclusions of irregular form. Retromammary cellular tissue is visualized as hyperimpedance formation of irregular form with electroconductivity less than 0.2 conventional units. Situated in the center of the tomogram on the 6th and 7th levels of scanning. The quantity of retromammary fatty tissue increases with the patient's age. Therefore the most accurately it is presented at women of the late reproductive and perimenopausal periods, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland 50 kHz. Parenchyma of a mammary gland is presented as isoimpedance areas of irregular form, with electroconductivity of 0.3 to 0.7 conventional units. Situated between the connective tissue septars, Cooper's ligaments. Predominant localization is from the first till the fifth levels of scanning. Visualization does not depend on the phases of the MC, but it has an inverse relationship from the woman's age. With increase in age the quantity and the size of elements of a parenchyma on tomograms decreases. 
Electrical Impedance Anatomy of Mammary Gland 50 kHz Galactophores of the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd and the 4th order are not visualized separately on the electroimpedus mammograms, but their presence as a part of the lobules and the lobes of a mammary gland influences on the qualitative and quantitative characteristics of a parenchyma. Main ducts, forming from the 1st order galactophores, are curved and form the zone of mammary sinus before their exit on a nipple. It is visualized as hypoimpedance rounded area with electroconductivity more than 0.7 conventional units, or as isoimpedance rounded area with electroconductivity of 0.5 to 0.7 conventional units, situated in the center of a tomogreme in the area behind the nipple at all menstruating women, on the first the second and rare the third levels of scanning. The limits and electroconductivity of the mammary sinus zone have their peculiarities during different life periods of a woman, the first phase of the MC. The second phase of the MC, pregnancy, lactation, postmenopause, electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland 50 kHz. At the first phase of MC roundabout in 80% of observations the mammary sinus zone is presented by hypoimpedance area. This important phenomenon seems to be considered as manifestation of relative predominance of an estrogen influence. In 20% of observations the area behind a nipple is presented by isoimpedance area. During the second phase of the MC the mammary sinus zone has isoimpedance character round about 90% of cases, and hypoimpedance 1 in 10% because of relative predominance of gestogens. At non-menstruating women at the absence of estrogenic influences the mammary, lacteal, sinus zone is expressed, indistinctly or absent practically at all cases of observations. Electrical Impedance Mammography During Lactation The mammary, lacteal, sinus zone is revealed better at puerperas. In the end of a pregnancy and during the first days after birth peak ejection of prolactin. Turning on the lactation mechanism, is observed because of the sharp decrease of the placental estrogen level as feedback coupling. In this period the secretory function of a mammary gland is manifested maximally. In the cells of a cylindrical epithelium of alveoli there is an accumulation of fatty droplets, which get into the lactiferous ducts and are accumulated in the mammary sinus zone as milk. It is clearly visible on electroimpedance tomograms, that there is hypoimpedance area in the center of an image which corresponds to the area behind a nipple, i.e. the mammary sinus zone. Notably the difference in the limits of the hypoimpedance zone is visible in dependence on breastfeeding and on lactational ability of a mammary gland. The images are showing EIM of the women with lactation on third fifth day of postpartum period with well lactationing mammary gland, top images, and hypogalaxia. Lower images. Electrical impedance anatomy of mammary gland. In certain cases in the zone of mammary sinus localization on the first and the second scan planes the nipple is lidarid as hypoimpedance rounded, or oval formation with electroconductivity. Of 0.3 to 0.4 conventional units. Visualization of a nipple does not depend on the phases of the MC physiological life periods of a woman and more likely it is determined by the form, limits and the degree of retraction. Mammary gland anatomy. The scheme of blood supply of mammary glands. ACC to M. Tebout, M. Horleville. Atlas of ultrasound and ductal echography of the breast. Oxford Blackwell Science Incorporated, 1995. The mammary glands are supplied with blood via two main nutrient trunks. The medial parts of the gland are supplied with blood, via perforating branches of the internal thoracic artery. Diverging from subclavicular artery. The lateral parts of the mammary gland are supplied via the lateral arteries of the thoracic cavity, 
branching off the external thoracic artery, axillary artery pool, and to a lesser degree via the subclavicular artery. Perforance anterior over 0.95 a 0.95 au. On electroimpedance tomograms perforating branches of internal thoracic artery are visualized as hypoimpedance formations of small diameter with electroconductivity. More than 0.95 conventional units in the lateral projection in internal quadrants of a mammary gland from the first till the fifth scan levels. Diameter of medial branches is up to 1,5 mm, thoracic lateralis over 0.95 AU. On electroimpedance tomograms lateral thoracic artery is visualized as hypoimpedance formation with electroconductivity more than 0.95 conventional units. In the lateral projection in external quadrants of a mammary gland. From the first till the fifth scanning levels. Diameter of lateral branches is up to 3.5 mm. Mammary gland anatomy. On electroimpedance tomograms on the first and the second scan levels small subcutaneous vessels can be visualized. It demands the differential diagnostics with the focal symptomatic mainly with breast cancer. Visualization of a vessel, multiple character, small diameter, distribution. Only on the first, rare on the second scan levels, absence of reaction of surrounding tissues. There is no difference in images, and in the indices of the electroconductivity in, dependence on the site and the position at the scanning. Anterior folium of pectoral fascia 0.3 to 0.5 AU. Posterior folium of pectoral fascia, 0.3 to 0.4 AU. Cooper's ligaments, 0.3 to 0.6 AU. Adipose tissue, 0.2 to 0.3 AU. Glandular tissue, 0.3 to 0.7 AU. Lacteal sinus zone. 0.5 0.7 and over AU. The periods of the mammary gland involution are as following. 35 to 40 years gradual loss of glandular structures. 40 to 45 year thickening of ducts cylindrical epithelium, thickening of basic membrane and fibrous evolution of connective tissue. 45 to 50 years dilatation and in some cases cystic dilatation of lacteal ducts, compressed by fibrous tissue. After 50 years slow obliteration of lacteal ducts, as well as small diameter vessels, formation of adipose tissue, age types of the mammary glands structure. Juvenile type. Reproductive type. Premenopause type. Postmenopausal type. Juvenile type. Ultrasound. 19 years. Second phase of menstruation cycle. The skin is imaged as a hyperequid line, 0.52.0 mm thick. The main body of the gland is represented by images of glandular structures in form of an integrated fine grained layer of hyperechogenicity. In the second phase of the menstrual cycle, the hyperequic image of the glandular tissue alternates with hyperequic tubular, in longitudinal plane, or roundish, in transverse plane, lacteal ducts. Connective tissue structures, Cooper's ligaments, fascias, interlobular fibrous tissue are not imaged separately. Pectoral muscles are imaged, before the ribs as multidirectional image of Hyperequic transversal striated solid inclusions, juvenile type. Ultrasound. 18 years. First phase of menstruation cycle. The mammograms of the juvenile type are characterized by availability of all anatomical landmarks at electrical impedance images. A poorly defined zone of the lacteal sinus in both phases of the menstrual cycle on the first and second scanning levels, known absolute characteristic. Predominant imaging of parenchyma, 
fibroglandular complex or glandular tissue with lacteal ducts, on the first fifth scanning levels. Presence of not very evident layer of subcutaneous fatty tissue of the first and second scanning levels. Presence of not very evident layer of retromammary tissue of the sixth and seventh scanning levels. Absence of the interlobular adipose tissue on the second fifth scanning levels. Absence of well defined Cooper's ligaments on all scanning levels. Well defined imaging of anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia on the first and second scanning levels, and posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia on the fourth seventh scanning levels. Reproductive type ultrasound. The top image is showing 25 years. First phase of menstruation cycle. The bottom image is showing 25 years. Second phase of menstruation cycle. The skin is imaged as a hyperequic line, 0.52.0 mm thick. The subcutaneous adipose tissue is imaged in form of a moderate amount of elongated hypoechoic structures or as a single hyperequic layer 2 to 3 cm thick. Glandular tissue is imaged as integrated hyperequic fine grained layer. Sometimes hyperequic roundish formations of adipose tissue are imaged against its background. In the second phase of the menstrual cycle, the hyperequic image of glandular tissue alternates with images of hyperequic fragments of lacteal ducts. The parenchyma front contour has a wave-like form due to protrusion in the places of Cooper's ligaments fixation. Differentiation of the connective tissue structures, namely Cooper's ligaments and fascia, increase with age. Reproductive type, ultrasound. Image is showing 34 years. First phase of menstruation cycle. With increase of age, and the number of pregnancies, parenchyma is being replaced by adipose tissue. This extra fat can be accumulated, subcutaneously, between glandular structures midmost, or retromammary. The quantity of connective tissue structures, increases. Reproductive type, ultrasound. The mammograms of the reproductive type are, characterized by availability of all anatomical landmarks at electrical impedance images. A well-defined zone of the lacteal sinus on the first, second and less often on the third scanning levels, mainly in the first phase of the menstrual cycle. Known absolute characteristic. Predominant imaging of parenchyma, fibroglandular complex or glandular tissue with lacteal ducts on the first to fifth scanning levels at the early reproductive age, and reduction of parenchyma, on the tomograms of women of the late reproductive age. Presence of subcutaneous fat layer on the first and second scanning levels. Presence of layer of retromammary, adipose tissue on the sixth and seventh scanning levels, the amount of which increases with age. Appearance of solitary focuses of the interlobular adipose tissue on the second to fifth scanning levels in early reproductive period and increase of fatty inclusions quantity in the late reproductive age. Well-defined imaging of the Cooper's ligaments at all scanning levels in the late reproductive age. Well-defined imaging of anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia on the first and second scanning levels and posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia on the 5th to 7th scanning levels. Premenopause type, ultrasound. The top image is showing, 51 years. First phase of menstruation cycle. The bottom image is showing, 53 years. Second phase of menstruation cycle. The skin is imaged as a hyperequic line. 2.04.0 mm thick. A well-defined subcutaneous adipose layer is imaged in form of roundish hypoechoic structures. These accumulations of hypoechoic fat 
surrounded by hyperequic borders of connective tissue, are adipose lobules. During the phase, which precedes the menopause, the mammary gland features decrease of the glandular tissue. Especially, in the areas where it used to be in abundance, behind the nipple and in projection of the upper external quadrant. Partial replacement of the glandular tissue by adipose, one is characterized by appearance of numerous areas of hypoechoic fat on the background of hyperechoic glandular tissue. In the second part of the cycle the process is accompanied by multiple images of hypoechoic structures of lacteal ducts. Quite frequently adipose tissue in form of medium-size roundish hypoechoic inclusions are imaged in the retromammary zone. The connective tissue structures, namely, Cooper's ligaments, fascia, fibrilla interlobar tissue are well differentiated in form of multidirectional hyperequic inclusions and supporting tissue. Pre-menopause type, ultrasound. 45 years, showing second phase of menstrual cycle. The mammograms of the pre-menopause type are characterized by availability of all anatomical landmarks at electrical impedance images. A well-defined zone of the lacteal sinus on the first, second and less often on the third scanning levels, mainly in the first phase of the menstrual cycle, known absolute characteristic. Decrease of glandular tissue focuses. Presence of a well-defined layer of subcutaneous tissue on the first and second scanning level. Presence of a retromammary layer of the adipose tissue on the fifth, sixth and seventh scanning levels, the size of which increases with age. Predominance of interlobular adipose formation on the tomograms. Well-defined imaging of the Cooper's ligaments on all scanning levels. Well-defined imaging of anterior folium of the split pectoral fascia on the first and second scanning levels and posterior folium of the split pectoral fascia, on the 5th-7th scanning levels. Appearance of mosaic effect, due to the shift of normal correlation of anatomic structures, towards, predominance of the fibro-adipose components, postmenopausal type, ultrasound. 60 years. Postmenopause 7 years. The skin is imaged as two hyperequic lines with a thin hypoechoic adipose layer between them. The skin thickness can vary. Practically the whole mammary gland comprises adipose lobes in form of roundish hypoechoic structures with pronounced hypoechoic border. Sometimes singular inclusions of hyperequic glandular tissue are imaged. It is explained by the atrophy of glandular tissue and ducts. Mammary glands of elderly virginal women might have a significant amount of glandular tissue. Connective tissues are characterized by thickening of hyperequic Cooper's ligaments, as well as presence of hyperequic linear inclusions in the texture of the adipose tissue. And in two images, of the outer contour of lacteal ducts. Postmenopausal type, ultrasound. 64 years. Postmenopause 16 years. The mammograms, of the postmenopausal type, are characterized by the loss of anatomic landmarks at the electrical impedance images. Absence of the lacteal sinus zone. A well defined mosaic effect of an image due to the shift of normal correlation of anatomic structures towards predominance of the fibro adipose components at all levels of scanning. Singular focuses of glandular tissue on the second fifth scanning levels. Absence of a well defined division of the subcutaneous layer and interlobular adipose tissue. Multidirectionality in the connective tissue carcass due to thickening of the Cooper's ligaments, fibrosis of lacteal ducts, and appearance of fibrous inclusions in the structure of the adipose tissue. Presence of lighter tones of the gray scale in images is explained by structural and involuntary changes in the tissues of the mammary gland. Electrical impedance, images in norm. Electrical impedance, images in norm. While evaluating the images, 
the following factors are to be taken into account. Electroimpedance anatomy. Correspondence of the electroimpedance, image to the age type of the breast structure. Presence of contour deformation of the image. Abnormality in the internal structure's architectonics. Presence of focal masses, and the pattern of the contour around them. Difference in images, depending on the scanning position and side. Symmetry in the diagram of the frequency distribution of electroconductivity. Electrical impedance, images in norm. EIM, juvenile type, 22 years. 50 kHz. Correspondence of the electrical impedance, image to the age type of mammary glands structure. Absence of deformations of the image contours. Distinct architectonics of internal structures. Absence of focal masses. Absence of a difference in images depending on the patient position and side of scanning. Symmetry of the graph of frequency distribution of the conductivity. Electrical impedance, images in norm. EIM. Reproductive type. 39 years. 50 kHz. Correspondence of the electrical impedance, image to the age type of mammary glands structure. Absence of deformations of the image contours. Distinct architectonics of internal structures. Absence of focal masses. Absence of a difference in images depending on the patient position and side of scanning. Symmetry of the graph of frequency distribution of the conductivity. Electrical impedance, images in norm. EIM. Premenopause type, 43 years. 50 kHz. Correspondence of the electrical impedance, image to the age type of mammary glands structure. Absence of deformations of the image contours. Distinct architectonics of internal structures. Absence of focal masses. Absence of a difference in images depending on the patient position and side of scanning. Symmetry of the graph of frequency distribution of the conductivity. Electrical impedance, images in norm. EIM. Postmenopausal type, 63 years. 50 kHz. Correspondence of the electrical impedance, image to the age type of mammary glands structure. Absence of deformations of the image contours. Distinct architectonics of internal structures. Absence of focal masses. Absence of a difference in images depending on the patient position and side of scanning. Symmetry of the graph of frequency distribution of the conductivity. Mammary gland electroconductivity in norm. Quantitative estimation of electroimpedance. Images revealed. There is no statistically significant difference between the average electroconductivity indices at different positions of examination, lying, standing, and various sides of scanning, left, right, at all levels in respective age groups and at a frequency of 50 kHz and 10 kHz, since there are no significant changes in the mammary blood flow depending on the body position and side of scanning of the patient. There is no statistically significant difference in the indices of the mammary gland electroconductivity, in norm electroconductivity in different phases of MC, in corresponding groups at both scan frequencies. In spite of the action of different hormones on the mammary gland tissues. Therefore for work, it is possible to use average indices of electroconductivity, without an account of the position and the side of scanning. Mean electroconductivity indices of the mammary glands in norm in first and second phases of the menstrual cycle at women of different age groups and in postmenopause, older 51 years. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level, plus or minus SD. Mammary gland electroconductivity in norm. Mammary gland electroconductivity in norm. With the age indices of average electroconductivity of mammary glands, 
are increased on all levels of scanning. The process of changing of electroconductivity seems to reflect stages of involutive changes in the structure of mammary glands. Decreasing of the quantity of glandular tissue and increasing of the quantity of connective and fatty tissue on the one hand have to be accompanied by decreasing of electroconductivity, indices but on the other hand, physiological dilatation, and sometimes cystic dilatation of lactiferous ducts, pressed by fibrous tissue at women, of the perimenopausal period lead to increasing of electroconductivity indices. At increasing of the depth, of scanning electroconductivity, indices are decreased, on both frequencies in all age groups in both phases of the MC. This is explained by decreasing, of the quantity of glandular tissue, with well-developed lactiferous ducts tree, in accordance with increasing of the depth of scanning. Regularities of change in electroconductivity, of all levels are the same, that allows to use only the second level indices in the work. In all cases in norm, electroconductivity of mammary glands, at 10 kHz is statistically validly less than electroconductivity, at 50 kHz that is explained by the singular passing of electrical current at different frequencies, on intercellular and intracellular spaces, mammary glands electroconductivity, characteristics at various obstetric anamnesis, mammary glands electroconductivity, in norm at women of different age groups depending on the quantity of birth in anamnesis, 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. Mammary glands electroconductivity in norm, at women of different age groups depending on the quantity of birth in anamnesis. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level, plus or minus SD. There is defined the valid decrease of the electroconductivity indices of mammary glands at all menstruating women, on both scan frequencies, at the absence of birth in anamnesis and increasing of electroconductivity, at presence of even one birth in comparison with an average electroconductivity in norm. As the decrease of electroconductivity, always confirm the presence of hyperplastical processes. It is possible to suppose that non parous women are more likely to develop of hyperplastical mammary gland diseases. Mammary glands electroconductivity in norm at women of different age groups, depending on the lactation duration in anamnesis 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level mammary glands electroconductivity in norm, depending on the lactation duration in anamnesis, at women of different age groups 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level, plus or minus SD. At menstruating, women electroconductivity is statistically validly less in comparison with average indices at the absence of lactation or at the short time lactation in all groups and statistically validly higher at lactation more than 12 months. The received data prove that disposition to development of hyperplastic processes in a mammary gland is more often expressed at women with the absence of the lactational period in anamnesis. Mammary glands electroconductivity in norm, at women of different age groups, depending on the quantity of abortions in anamnesis, 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level, mammary glands electroconductivity in norm at women of different age groups, depending on the quantity of abortions in anamnesis, 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. Plus or minus SD. Indices of electroconductivity are higher than the norm at women, who had three more abortion in anamnesis. It disproves a little, the suspicion of some authors affirming that a yellow body safe its function for a long time after interruption of pregnancy. This is accompanied by the progesterone secretion, which leads to suppression of production of hypophysis luteinizing hormone and increasing of follicle stimulating hormone production. As a result hyperestrogenia 
and proliferation of target organs, including the mammary gland tissue, is developed. Expressed proliferative changes would lead to decrease of electroconductivity indices, but such situation was not observed in the investigation. From the other side, changes of breast electroconductivity at women with the large quantity of abortions in anamnesis prove that mammary glands are sensitive to minimal changes of hormonal background. And even the short-term pregnancy accelerates involutive changes of glandular tissue, and mammary glands in general. Peculiarities of electroconductivity, of mammary glands at taking the combined, oral contraceptives, and preparations of replacement hormonotherapy, mammary glands mean electroconductivity, at taking the combined, oral contraceptives, COC, at women of different age groups. Second scanning level, mammary glands electroconductivity, after menstruation, in 1, 6 and 12 months after COC first taking at women of different age groups. Second scanning level, plus or minus SD. Mammary glands mean electroconductivity, before menstruation is analogous. During the first six months insignificant decreasing of electroconductivity is observed at all women and at prolonged action of COC on the mammary glands there is statistically valid decrease of electroconductivity indices after taking the COC during the year at 40 years old women, i.e. at the age, when enough quantity of glandular structures is saved in the structure of a mammary gland and there is statistically valid increase of electroconductivity at women at the age of 41 and older that is connected to gradual decrease of the quantity of glandular tissue on the background of progressing involutive changes. Mammary glands mean electroconductivity at taking the preparations of replacement hormonotherapy, PIH. At women of different age groups second scanning level, mammary glands mean electroconductivity, at taking the PIH at different age periods. Second scanning level, plus or minus SD. At taking the climenorm statistically, valid decrease of indices of electroconductivity, at dynamic observation at both frequencies, of scanning is observed because of the presence of cyclic action of hormones on the mammary glands at saved MC, and possible estrogenization, provoking the growth of the cellular component, and increasing of hyperplastic processes. At using of climodon electroconductivity, indices are stable and there is no statistically valid difference between them at dynamical observation. It is connected to the ending of involutive processes in a mammary gland. Stabilization of hormonal background at women of the postmenopausal period, and changing of the receptor apparatus thereby mammary glands, as a hormone-dependent organ have a less reaction to introduced hormones, after ending of the menstrual function. Pathology of the mammary glands, mastopathy. Mastalgia is swelling, tension of mammary glands, and also presence of nagging, stabbing, radiating pains in mammary glands manifestation of premenstrual syndrome manifestation of mastopath mastopathy mammary dysplasia a fibrocystic disease characterized by a wide spectrum of proliferative and regressive changes of the breast tissues with abnormal ratio of epithelial and connective components mastopathy Diffuse fibrocystic mastopathy With predominance of the glandular component With predominance of the fibrous component With predominance of the cystic component Mixed form Nodular fibrocystic mastopathy Mastopathy Left figure showing non-proliferative form of fibrocystic disease Sites of fibrous tissue are combined with cystic cavities Pathological changes are developed in limits of duct lobular unit. Cysts are lined with atrophic epithelium or epithelium. Subjected to apocrinic metaplasia. Right figure showing proliferative form of fibrocystic disease. 
marked out, epithelial, myoepithelial and fibroepithelial variants of proliferation. Middle bottom figure showing lobular hyperplasia. Marked out. Adenosis. Atypical lobular hyperplasia. The risk degree of the breast cancer development is increased at cystic changes, and depends on the degree of expressiveness, of ductal and intraductal proliferation, letogen VP. Risk of malinization at non-proliferative form is 0.86%. At moderate proliferation 2.34%, at sharply expressed proliferation 31.4%, Baleuk.N. Mastopathy Mastopathy of one type, non-cystic form. With predominance of glandular component. With predominance of fibrous component. Mastopathy two type, cystic form with predominance of cystic component. Mixed form. Electrical impedance, images at mastopathy. EIM. 41 years. 50 kHz. Well-defined undistorted contour of the mammary gland, absence of the internal structure's displacement, electrical impedance images at mastopathy. Left image EIM. 41 years. 50 kHz. Mastopathy. Right image EIM. 41 years. 50 kHz. Norm. Disturbance of architectonic, of images because of the change of accordance, of mammary gland tissues, and its consequences discrepancy, of the type of the electroimpedance. Image, juvenile, reproductive, premenopausal postmenopausal to the age electrical impedance images at mastopathy left image eim 41 years 50 kilohertz mastopathy right image eim 41 years 50 kilohertz norm disturbance of architectonic of images because of the change of accordance of mammary gland tissues, and its consequences discrepancy, of the type of the electroimpedance. Image, juvenile, reproductive, premenopausal, postmenopausal, to the age. Electrical impedance, images at mastopathy. EIM. 34 years. 50 kHz. Mastopathy. The increase of the hyperimpedance areas, 1, on the images with mastopathy, due to the fibrous changes of adipose tissue, ducts walls and Cooper's ligaments fibrous. Electrical impedance, images at mastopathy. EIM. 22 years. 50 kHz. Mastopathy. Increase of the mean, electroconductivity zones, 1 due to hyperplasia, of glandular tissue, at adenosis, indices of mean electroconductivity, of mammary glands in the norm and at mastopathy, of the first and the second types at women, of the different age groups during the first phase, of the menstrual cycle, and during the post-menopause, older than 51. 50 kHz, 10 kHz. The second scanning level plus or minus SD. Indices of mean electroconductivity, of mammary glands in the norm, and at mastopathy of the first and the second types at women of the different age groups, during the second phase of the menstrual cycle, and during the post-menopause, older than 51. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. Plus or minus SD. Electrical impedance, images at mastopathy. Regularities of change of electroconductivity, indices on the different scan levels at the different types of mastopathy, are the same as in the norm. Increasing of electroconductivity, with the age of patients in both phases, of the MC and, decreasing of indices, with increasing of the depth of scanning are observed. Changes in the structure of mammary glands, 
at presence of a pathological process are diffuse and have no influence on the processes of involutive changes. Electroconductivity at both types of mastopathy is statistically validly less in the corresponding age groups at menstruating women, till 50 years, than in the norm. And at the frequency 50 kHz, and at the frequency 10 kHz in both phases of the MC. Predominance of hyperplastic and fibrous changes in the structure of mammary glands regularly decreases the electroconductivity indices at mastopathy, because connective tissue have enough high impedance characteristics and, accordingly, low electroconductivity. Absence of difference in electroconductivity between the norm and mastopathy at women in the postmenopause confirms the fact that dysplasia is the consequence of dysfunction in the system over a mammary gland and not the disease itself. Changes of the hormonal status at menstruating women lead to the growth of the cellular component that influences on changes of electroconductivity indices. And there are no oscillations of the hormonal background at the postmenopausal period women, thus there is no response of mammary gland tissues that is manifested by a stability of electroconductivity indices and absence of statistically valid difference from the norm. Mastalgia, manifestation of premenstrual syndrome. The syndrome of premenstrual tension, premenstrual syndrome, represents itself the cyclic change of the mood and physical condition of a woman, coming for two to three and more days before menstruation. Disturbing usual life or work style, and alternating with the remission period, connected to the coming of menstruation and continuing not less than seven to twelve days. Frequency in a population varies from 55 till 40 percent and it is increases with the age and does not depend on the social economic cultural and ethnic differences Kulakov vi prilipskaya vn radzinskij ve 2007 one of the symptoms of the premenstrual tension syndrome is pain of different degree of expressiveness in mammary glands expressed mastalgia decreases work capacity disturbs the life quality, decreases sexual activity at 48% women, disturbs social adaptation at 12%, and makes worse work and educational conditions at 8% of patients. Some consider mastalgia as the potential risk factor for development of breast cancer. Prilipskaya VN, Volobwev AI, Shevtseva OB 2003 for determining of rational patient surveillance of the women with mammary gland diseases, it is necessary to work out reliable early criteria of diagnostics of mastalgia, allowing to differentiate its different origin nature, but unfortunately it is not available to do with modern methods of examination of mammary glands. It is possible to determine an etiology of mastalgia by the method of electrical impedance mammography. Indices of mean electroconductivity, of mammary glands in the norm, and at mastalgia at women, of the different age groups during, the first phase of the menstrual cycle. And during the post-menopause, older than 51. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. Plus or minus SD. Indices of mean electroconductivity of mammary glands in the norm and at mastalgia at women, of the different age groups during, the second phase of the menstrual cycle, and during the post-menopause, older than 51, 50 kHz and 10 kHz, second scanning level, plus or minus SD, mastalgia the symptom of the premenstrual syndrome. Regularities of change in indices of electroconductivity, at mastalgia are the same as in the norm, increasing of average electroconductivity, of mammary glands on at all scan levels on both frequencies, with the age of patients and decreasing of electroconductivity, in both phases of MC with increasing of the scan depth are observed. 
it confirms once more that involutive processes in the mammary gland happens independently on presence, or absence, of pathological changes in the structure of the gland, and correlation of different types of tissues in the different age periods, and on the different scan levels, is one of the factors, influencing on the indices of electroconductivity. In distinction from the norm, electroconductivity, at the frequency 10 kHz is higher than, at the frequency 50 kHz during the first phase of the MC, and it is lower during the second phase of the MC in the corresponding age groups. Mechanism of increasing of electroconductivity, indices at mastalgia at the electrical current frequency 10 kHz during the first phase, of the MC is connected to such thing that absolute, or relative increasing of estrogen levels, in blood serum causes the retained sodium that leads to accumulation of intercellular liquid and edemas. Besides, retention of liquid in tissues is happened because of hypoprogesteronemia, caused by increased prolactin production, which takes place at the premenstrual syndrome. At the comparison of indices of average electroconductivity, at mastalgia between the phases of MC in the corresponding age groups at the frequency 50 kHz there is no statistically valid difference in the indices of electroconductivity, and at the frequency 10 kHz electroconductivity is statistically validly less during the second phase of MC than during the first phase. That is also the distinctive criterion from norm. Electrical impedance, images at adipose, involution. Electroconductivity at 50 kHz is 0,71 AU, what is over the age norm and is typical for a mammary glands electroconductivity, in norm and at pathology, at women of different age groups. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. For the norm, mastalgia as a symptom of the premenstrual syndrome, and for the pain syndrome, at mastopathy of the different types, there are characteristic the own indices of electroconductivity. Allowing to differentiate, different pathology, of mammary glands at using the EIM method. At presence of the pain syndrome of any etiology, in mammary glands decrease of electroconductivity, in the comparison with the norm, is observed in all menstruating women. At examination at the 50 kHz frequency. At the 50 kHz frequency, electroconductivity, at mastalgia takes intermediate position, between the norm, and mastopathy in all age groups at menstruating women till 50 years, in both phases of MC. But it is impossible to carry out the differential, diagnostics, between the pain syndrome, and at the syndrome of premenstrual tension, at mastopathy at using of a single frequency measurement, because in both cases decrease of electroconductivity, indices in the comparison with the norm is observed. Clear diagnostical criteria are manifested, at additional scanning at the frequency 10 kHz. At the frequency 10 kHz the indices of average electroconductivity, of mammary glands at mastalgia, during the first phase of the MC, are higher than in the norm, and at any type of mastopatia, in the corresponding age groups, and during the second phase, they take up intermediate position between the norm and mastopathy. Mammary glands electroconductivity, in norm and at pathology, at women of different age groups, in different phases of menstrual cycle, and during post-menopause. 10 kHz. Second scanning level. Mammary glands electroconductivity, in norm and at pathology, at women of different age groups. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. At mastalgia, as opposed to norm and different types of mastopathy, the clear statistically reliable decrease of electroconductivity during the second phase of menstrual cycle at corresponding age groups with frequency 10 kHz is seen. There's no difference in the phases 
of the menstrual cycle at the mastopathy, of different types, when there is electroconductivity, mean indices decrease comparing, with norm at frequency 10 kHz, mammary glands electroconductivity, at different types of mastopathy, at women of different age groups, in different phases of menstrual cycle and during postmenopause. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. Mammary glands electroconductivity, at different types, of mastopathy at women of different age groups in different phases of menstrual cycle. And during postmenopause. 50 kHz and 10 kHz. Second scanning level. The clear diagnostical criterion for mastopathy of the first type is absence of significant difference between indices of electroconductivity at the frequency 50 kHz and 10 kHz in the corresponding age groups in both phases of MC. The clear diagnostical criterion for mastopathy of the second type is also decrease of average electroconductivity at the frequency 10 kHz, in comparison with the frequency 50 kHz. In both phases of the MC, in the corresponding age groups. The diagnostic algorithm, of mastalgia of various etiologies, using the method of multifrequency, electrical impedance, mammography. 50 kHz, 10 kHz, norm. 50 kHz of norm. 50 kHz, of norm adipose involution. Mastopathy. Mastopathy 1 type, non-cystic, 50 kHz equals 10 kHz. Mastopathy 2 type, cystic, 50 kHz, 10 kHz. Mastalgia a symptom of premenstrual tension. 10 kHz, 50 kHz, 10 kHz of norm with 10 kHz, in first phase of MC, electrical impedance, images at mastopathy. Electroconductivity at 50 kHz is 0,47 AU, what is below the age norm and is typical for mastopathy. Electroconductivity at 10 kHz is 0,34 AU, what is also below the age norm and 50 kHz below than the result at 50 kHz. According to the diagnostic algorithm, it corresponds to the second type of mastopathy, with cystic component. Images showing EIM. 50 years. Second scanning level. Electrical impedance, images at mastopathy. Electroconductivity at 50 kHz is 0,26 AU, what is below the age norm and is typical for mastopathy. Electroconductivity at 10 kHz is 0,26 AU, what is also below the age norm, but does 50 kHz not differ from the result at 50 kHz? According to the diagnostic algorithm, it corresponds to the first type of mastopathy, non-cystic variant. Image showing EIM. 21 years. Second scanning level. Electrical impedance. Images at mastalgia. Electroconductivity at 50 kHz is 0,44 AU, what is below the age norm. Electroconductivity at 10 kHz is 0,46 AU, what is over the age norm, and over the result at 50 kHz in the first phase of MC. According to the diagnostic algorithm, it corresponds to the mastalgia as the symptom of the premenstrual tension. Image showing EIM. 44 years. Second scanning level. Electrical impedance, images at adipose, involution. Electroconductivity at 50 kHz is 0,71 AU, what is over the age norm and is typical for adipose involution. Electroconductivity at 10 kHz is 0,51 AU, what is typical for the norm. Pathology of the mammary glands, cysts. Cysts. Cysts are the most frequently occurring disease of mammary glands. The group of menstruating women, 
35 to 50 years old, is commonly subjected to it. The onset of the menopause is usually connected with regression of cysts, but they might develop and even increase in size in case of therapy involving hormones, estrogens, steroids, and drugs prescribed against hypertension, digitalis derivatives. Cyst size can vary from 3 mm to 5-6 cm. Cysts fall into the following groups, singular, multiple, one-sided, double cysts sided. Closely spaces cysts might merge and form a single cavity. Case follow-up will allow to observe that such cysts will form a polycystic formation with partitions. The lysis partitions will provoke formation of a unicameral, unicycticum, cyst. The partition regression usually lasts several months. The cysts more often are formed in the terminal part of the lacteal duct, third order galactophores. Small cysts degenerate less frequently than large ones. Cysts. Oval form. Absence of reflection from the internal contents. Distal enhancement. Well-defined differentiation between internal and external contours. Bright posterior wall. Symmetrical lateral acoustic shadows. Ultrasound. 39 years. Right mammary gland cyst at 11 hours, cysts. Cysts on the electroimpedance tomograms, in the grayscale gradation, look like roundish hypoimpedance formation with rather blurred contours. EIM. 31 years. Left mammary gland cyst at 16 hours on the first, second and third scanning levels, cysts. On the tomograms with color contrast study the cysts are highlighted in orange-red. EIM. 31 years. Left mammary gland cyst at 16 hours on the first, second and third scanning levels. Cysts. Identified electroconductivity of the cyst locating is 0,65 0,94 conventional units, starting from the second scanning level. When the scanning depth in increased, the electroconductivity decreases to 0,3504 conventional units. Big range of electroconductivity indices in cyst locating zone depends on the basic mean electroconductivity. With the age increase the electroconductivity indices increase occurs and, naturally electroconductivity of the cyst locating zone also increases. Cysts. Using the image's filtration mode, when the parts with high electroconductivity, over 0,95 AU, are highlighted in red, the hypoimpedance focuses of the cysts location are not highlighted. Cysts. There can be isolated on the background of non-changeable electrical impedance anatomy. When electrical impedance type corresponds to the age type and the mean electroconductivity indices correspond to the age norm. There can be isolated or multiple on the background of changed electrical impedance anatomy when there is disturbance of architectonic of the image because of correlation of mammary gland tissues, and as consequence there is discrepancy of the type of electroimpedance, image, juvenile, reproductive, premenopausal, postmenopausal, to the age. There is increasing of hyperimpedance, areas because of fibrous changes of fatty tissue, fibrosis of the ductal walls, and Cooper's ligaments in the images. There is increasing of mean electroconductivity, because of the hyperplasia of glandular tissue. Indices of average electroconductivity, corresponds to mastopathy. Cysts. EIM. 31 years. Left mammary gland cyst at 17 hours, diam. 9.5 mm on the first, second and third scanning levels. 50 kHz. Ultrasound. 31 years. Left mammary gland cyst at 17 hours, diam. 9.5 mm. 
electroconductivity of the cyst 0,87 AU against background of mean electroconductivity of 0,49, which corresponds to the age norm. Electrical impedance, anatomy is not changed, electrical impedance, type corresponds to the age type. Cysts. EIM. 48 years. Left mammary gland cyst at 16 hours, diam. 88 mm on the first, second and third scanning levels. 50 kHz. Ultrasound. 48 years. Left mammary gland cyst at 16 hours, diam. 88 mm. Electroconductivity of the cyst 0,79 AU against background of mean electroconductivity of 0,41, which corresponds to mastopathy. Electrical impedance, anatomy is changed. Cysts. EIM. 52 years. Left mammary gland cyst at 17 hours, diam. 10 times 7 mm. Right mammary gland cyst at 18 to 17 hours, diam. 12 times 8 mm. 50 kHz. Electroconductivity of the cysts 0,94 AU against background of mean electroconductivity of left mammary gland 0,62 and 0,92 AU, against background, of mean electroconductivity, of right mammary gland 0,62 AU, which corresponds to fatty involution, cysts. EIM. 38 years. Multiple cysts of he right mammary gland at 7 to 9 hours, diam.11 mm on the first, second and third scanning levels. 50 kHz. Ultrasound. 38 years. Multiple cysts of the right mammary gland at 7 to 9 hours, diam.11 mm. Electroconductivity of the cysts 0,64 AU, 0,63 AU, against background of mean electroconductivity of 0,43, which corresponds to mastopathy. Electrical impedance, anatomy is changed. Mean electroconductivity, 0,43. Electroconductivity, in cyst zone 0,64. Electroconductivity, in cyst zone 0,63. Pathology of the mammary glands, fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma. About 95% of all non-malignant growths of the mammary gland are represented by fibroadenoma. It most frequently occurs in women of 15-45 years of age as the result of anomalous growth of glandular tissue. Within a long time span fibroadenomas undergo involution, calcinations and hyalinization. Since verboadenoma formation is connected with estrogen stimulation, its development and growth can take place during the perimenstrual period as well as against the background of hormone replacement therapy. More often than not fibroadenoma represents a solitary formation, but it might form a multiple formation as well. Its sizes as a rule do not exceed 2-3 cm and it is situated usually in the upper external quadrant. Fibroadenoma Oval shape well-defined hyperequid contours, hypoechoic heterogeneous structure, hyperequid inclusions of various dimensions, distal pseudo enhancement behind the fibroadenoma, ultrasound, 33 years, fibroadenoma of the left mammary gland at 14 hours, diam 127 mm, fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma on the electrical impedance, tomograms, in the grayscale gradation, looks like roundish hypoimpedance, formation with rather blurred contours. EIM. 31 years. Fibroadenoma of the right mammary gland at 7 hours on the first, second and third levels of scanning. 
fibroadenoma. Using color contrast study the fibroadenomas are highlighted in orange. EIM. 31 years. Fibroadenoma of the right mammary gland at 7 hours on the first, second and third levels of scanning. Fibroadenoma. Identified electroconductivity of the fibroadenomas. Locating is 0,55 0,64 conventional units starting from the second scanning level. When the scanning depth in increased, the electroconductivity decreases to 0,3504 conventional units. The impedance characteristics of fibroadenomas are similar of those that belong to normal indices of parenchyma. That explains the difficulty in visualizing of small size fibroadenomas. Fibroadenoma Using the image's filtration mode, when the parts with high electroconductivity, over 0,95 AU, are highlighted in red, the hypoimpedance focuses of the fibroadenoma's location are not highlighted. Fibroadenoma EIM 50 kHz 33 years Fibroadenoma of the left mammary gland on the first second and third levels of scanning ultrasound 33 years fibroadenoma of the left mammary gland at 14 hours 127 electroconductivity in the fibroadenoma location zone is 0,65 au against background of mean electroconductivity 0,48 au corresponds to the age norm fibroadenoma EIM 38 years Fibroadenoma of the left mammary gland on the first, second and third fibroadenoma, levels of scanning 50 kHz Ultrasound 38 years Fibroadenoma of the left mammary gland at 13 hours, 0.95 mm Electroconductivity of the fibroadenoma is 0,69 AU, against background of mean, electroconductivity 0,48 AU, corresponds to the age norm. Pathology of the, mammary glands, breast cancer, breast cancer. Breast cancer is the disease, with which all non-malignant processes of the breast are differentiated. The mammary glands are most frequently affected in their upper exterior quadrants. It is probably connected with concentration of the terminal lacteal ducts in this particular area. There are two types of breasts cancer, diffuse form, edematous infiltrative cancer, and nodular cancer. The nodular type of cancer can take form of a single nodule, be of multinodular formation, have multicentric position and be bilateral. Breast cancer. Infiltrative cancer. Cancers of a stellate like configuration, independent of their type, infiltrative, ductal or lobular, have a serous structure. Most frequently, such tumors have in their centers zones of fibrous, sometimes hyalinized stoma. The tumor periphery, features complexes of tumor cells of the epithelial nature. A uniform distribution of parenchyma and stoma in the tumor's nodule occurs less frequently. Due to the pronounced infiltration of the surrounding tissues, the tumor's border are often poorly defined. The tumor's stellate-like shape is caused by the Cooper's ligaments, contraction by the tumor, breast cancer. The nodular forms of well-circumscribed cancers comprise the following types, medullary, mucinosic, papillary, some ductal cancers, and sarcoma, which makes up a low percentage of the breast malignant tumors. Although these tumors during their growth compress the surrounding tissues, they practically cause no or very slight fibrous changes of the surrounding structures. Medullary cancers possess a roundish or a lobular from cystic solid structure, are well circumscribed from the surrounding tissues, and have no capsule. 
During their growth these tumors form necrotic zones, with areas developed from fresh hemorrhages. Large-scale tumors are fixed to the anterior wall of the chest and might ulcerate. The tumors of small size remind a fibroadenoma. Medullary cancers seldom occur after menopause. Colloid carcinomas are slowly growing tumors, the cells of which produce mucus secretory discharge. It occurs at the age of 50 to 60. They can be of a roundish or an oval shape, their borders can vary from being well defined to blurred. Calcification might be found during examination. Cavity and intracavitary cancer are rare forms of the breast malignant tumors. Histologically, it is a papillary cancer, developing from a cyst wall. Breast cancer Diffuse form, edematous infiltrative cancer Edematous infiltrative forms of cancer result from infiltration of the mammary gland lymphatic vessels by the malignant cell. Other malignant processes, in mammary glands, metastases, into mammary glands amount to 1-6% to of all malignant, processes in mammary glands. They might be singular or multiple, and be of roundish shape. They are localized in the subcutaneous zone. Initial focus can localize into lungs, gastrointestinal tract, small pelvis organs, urinary bladder thyroid gland or in contralateral mammary gland. Melanomas, lymphomas, sarcomas, leukemias. Leukocytes, myelomatosis may also cause the mammary gland lesion. Breast cancer. Ultrasonic image showing. 73 years. Left mammary gland cancer at 12 hours, diam. 19 times 20 times 16 millimeters. Irregular shape. Blurred contours. Hypoechoic heterogeneous structure. Hyperequic inclusions of various dimensions. Acoustic shadow. Predominance of anteroposterior size. Breast cancer. Image showing EIM. 73 years. Left mammary cancer on the first, second, third and fourth scanning levels at 13 hours. 50 kHz. On the electrical impedance, tomograms at the site of the tumor, possible location the hypoimpedance areas with, blurred contours which spread to several scanning levels, can be observed. When additional contrast study is applied, to the areas with high electroconductivity, they appear red, breast cancer. Image showing, EIM. 73 years. Right mammary gland cancer, on the first, second, third and fourth scanning levels at 13 hours. 50 kHz. At visualization, with color contrast study, the cancer zones, are highlighted in white color with, bright red contour, breast cancer. Electroconductivity, in cancer zone is 0,95 AU and more, starting from the second, scanning level separately from patient age, and basic mean electroconductivity, of the mammary gland. Which may correspond as to the norm, and so to mastopathy, breast cancer. Difference, in the image's independence, on the side of scanning because of disturbance of architectonic of internal structures of damaged mammary gland at unaltered health mammary gland. There is presence of deformations, of contours of the image, of a damaged mammary gland, and clear undeformed contours, of a health mammary gland, in 46% cases. Breast cancer. Sharp displacement of the graphic, of frequency distribution, of the electroconductivity, to the right in the comparison with the undamaged mammary gland, and with the graphic of distribution of electroconductivity, for the damaged mammary gland. Breast cancer. EIM. 39 years. Right mammary gland cancer at 11 to 12 hours, diam. 
25 times 23 times 16 mm on the first, second and third scanning levels. 50 kHz. Ultrasonic image. 39 years. Right mammary gland cancer at 11 to 12 hours, diam. 25 times 23 times 16 mm. Difference in the images independence on the side of scanning, because of disturbance of architectonic, of internal structures of the, damaged mammary gland at the unaltered, health mammary gland, breast cancer. EIM. 39 years. Right mammary gland cancer at 11 to 12 hours, diam. 25 times 23 times 16 mm. On the first, second and third scanning levels. 50 kHz. Electroconductivity, in right mammary gland in cancer location zone 10AU, against background of mean electroconductivity, 031AU, laying, and 0. 37 AU standing. Electroconductivity, in left mammary gland 0, 37 AU mean electroconductivity, is typical for mastopathy, breast cancer. EIM. 66 years. Right mammary gland breast at 14 hours, diam. 15 times 15 times 10 mm on the first, second and third scanning levels. 50 kHz. Ultrasound. 66 years. Right mammary gland breast at 14 hours, diam. 15 times 15 times 10 mm. Difference in the images independence, on the side of scanning because of disturbance, of architectonic, of internal structures of the damaged mammary gland, at the unaltered health mammary gland. Breast cancer. EIM. 66 years. Right mammary gland cancer at 14 hours, diam. 15 times 15 times 10 mm on the first, second and third scanning levels. 50 kHz. Electroconductivity, in right mammary gland in cancer location zone at 14.00 hours. 1,09 AU, against background of mean electroconductivity 070 AU. Electroconductivity, in left mammary gland in hypoimpedance focus zone at 18.00 hours 0, 0,99 AU, against background of mean electroconductivity 0,59 AU. The difference in mean electroconductivity, indices between damaged mammary gland, and healthy mammary gland is revealed. The mammary gland cancer, in the left mammary gland focus, is not confirmed in spite of the electroconductivity 0,99 AU. Non-typical, electrical impedance, picture of the mammary gland cancer. Ultrasound. 33 years. Right mammary gland cancer at 11 hours. EIM. 33 years. Right mammary gland cancer at 11 hours. Nodular cancer type with well circumscribed contours, with heterogeneous interior structure, 1 3 times 0, 0,8 times 1 2 cm, non typical, electrical impedance, picture of the mammary gland cancer. EIM. 33 years. Cancer RMG at 11 clock. Deformation of contours. Abnormality of architectonics and displacement of internal structures. A difference in electroconductivity depending on the side of scanning. On the tomograms in the place of probable dislocation of a tumor hypoimpedance areas of a high electroconductivity, characteristic for the majority of cancer cases are not determined. They are not allocated also at use of a mode of a filtration of the image. Electroconductivity, in the left mammary gland 0,42 AU, N, in the right 0,50 AU dot, in the deformation focus 0,60 A dot U. Meeting the manufacturer and training in Russia. In the images above, 
IMD Senior Training Coordinator slash Managing Partner, with the manufacturer in Russia. The IMD Senior Training Coordinator, learning the basic principles, of the machine in a Russian clinic. Marketing Specialist and Senior Leading Advisor. Meeting the Health Minister of Delhi Central Government Dr. Hirsch Verdon. Marketing Specialist and Senior Leading Advisor. Sharing our business proposal with the Health Minister of Delhi Central Government Dr. Hirsch Verdon. Innovation Medical Devices. Our team. Manoj Gill. Chief Executive Officer UK. And Managing Partner in India. Hussein Sahota. Managing Partner UK. And Managing Partner in India. Joginder Kalyan. Managing Partner and Senior Training Coordinator in India. Hemraj Sharma. Marketing Specialist and Senior Leading Advisor in India. For all enquiries and information please contact Innovation Medical Devices Info at imedicdevices.com imedidevices at outlook.com Manoj Gill at imedicdevices.com www.imedicdevices.com Plus 9177194150571 India Plus 447428120152 UK